Hello! You'll have to excuse at the lack of cycling gear on today because it is classic British summertime, the rain is pouring, uh, it's actually freezing and I'm not on the bike but instead enjoying a very lovely rest day um, and working through some footage of our recent trip to Italy which was part of our anniversary so me and Isaac celebrate 17 years together, uh, people do less for murder um, and as part of our presents to each other we decided to save up and take a trip to our favourite place which which is Italy um, and you know rather than just have like a nice tea out together and have a chill um, as part of our trip I really really wanted to go and take on some of the most amazing climbs that are in and around the Bormio area which is where we stayed um, and one of them has been on the bucket list for a long long time and that is the Stelvio um, absolute iconic climb absolute beast um, something that's featured in the Giro d'Italia and something that's featured very heavily and been open in my coffee table book, Michael Bland's Mountains, uh, Epic Cycling Climbs book. Michael, you absolute genius slash pain in the arse. This book is costing me a fortune in terms of bucket list uh, and flights, catching flights and have feelings. Uh, and as you can see, Passa della Stelvio. The greasy mitts that have been on this book since it's been on the coffee table, just pouring over the pictures and the climbs in here. Oh, he's got a lot to answer for. But anyway, Stelvio has been a bucket list climb of mine for a really long time. Not only because of the location, with Italy being absolutely dreamy, but also because of the switchbacks um, and the pure, pure length and height of that bad boy. Uh, one side is 20 kilometers just to reach the summit uh, and the second side that we did I think was roughly 48 if I'm not wrong hairpins all the way to the top from Prato um, so it was to be one of the biggest challenges that we could take on together um, and do whilst we were visiting the amazing Bormio um, and so I'll let the footage roll uh, but basically it was the most incredible climbing experience I've ever had on the second climb but we did it um so yeah enjoy the footage the camera ends completely abruptly because I think we either ran out of battery or I completely ran out of steam probably the latter um but I also have some other climbs from the area to share with you as well so I will load those up in the next couple of days um but I hope you enjoy and as ever if you like what you see hit the like subscribe leave us a comment and see you soon good morning Today we're attempting to do two ways up Stelvio. First way we are currently on. <laughs> Not then we're both out of breath. <laughs> so it's 17 or 18k. Maybe like 2,600 meters. Not bad. Then we're descending. We're going up the Prato side. Prato. <laughs> then descending, and then hopefully. Job done. 100k. What's the total elevation? Three and a half thousand, I think. Three and a half thousand meters of climbing. Let's go. Oh god. I'm not being funny, but that was you I had that it's yellow. That entire segment was black. <laughs> what grade was that? Ten maybe? We were so grateful for the little jackets, gloves, neck buffs, any extra layers that we bought for our descent because it was bloody freezing. Have a good story. Oh, 
bit gravel, keep it real. Woo -hoo. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't be a ride without a bit of gravel, eh? But there we go. And we're back on the buttery smooth tarmac. And me and the bikes are happy about it. Come on, lad. Christmas trees everywhere. This is this is just the best place ever. What more could you want? Climb and Christmas. So this road we're descending is called the Umbrail Pass and this is located on the Swiss-Italian border. It's one of the highest paved roads in the Alps with 35 hairpins and is 13.2 kilometers long. If you were to climb it, it has an average gradient of 8.5% and if you were to do the triple Stelvio, you'd come back up this one too. This side feels different to the Bormio side. It's got an alpine feel and the smooth roads are absolutely insane. Yeah, so cold. We're in Switzerland. Are we? I think so. That flag suggests we are. The sign suggests we are. It's the best thing about being Swiss. The cheese? I'm not sure, but the flag's a good place. Oh, whose joke is that? You've stolen that. You Everyone can't say that's yours. That to embark on climb two. We just had a hell of a stop. Amazing to sneak in. Banana, dried fruit that I thought was mango, but it was actually ginger. Horrendous. Horrendous. Quick what we start. Cycling. We've got a minute? Yeah. And we've got 24k of climb. And I'm already pretty tired. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the scenery's gonna go through. Come on, Snickers. Come on, Snickers. Do your magic. 48 turns. Just 48. We're this up is, here, baby. This is number one. <laughs> oh my god, they're 47. That's a move. <laughs> Idea, so Not mine. Happy anniversary, baby. Feel like I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Just like any other anniversary, then, is it? <laughs> There's the glass here. Yeah? Desperate times. Never had a gel before. Nope. Kate's first gel on the Stelvio. It's time. The gel view. The gel view. <laughs> this is called an official bonk. <laughs> <laughs> She's lying. She's all flying up there. This is the moment where when you look up you can see the most iconic switchbacks, the picture from the book that even got us here and it's incredible, it keeps you going. Smash it. <laughs> 13 to go. It's turned, not kilometers. I hope. Oh my god. Did we nearly do it? Where's the finish? Keep going. <laughs> Oh my 
You did it! You did it! We did double failure! Yeah, we did. yeah. Yes. well done. Same. Well done. Hey! Oh my god. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, where are we? We're at the top of Selvio. Again.